Mrs. Thatcher emerged from home with the condemnation of party loyalists still ringing in her ears, but with her mind very much on the ceremonial to come. Many of her supporters have been looking forward to seeing her back in action in the ermine robes of the upper house, but she wasn't quite so sure. The red benches of the Lords were crowded for this, the first enthronement of the new session. It was now officially Lady Thatcher. I, Margaret, Baroness Thatcher, do swear by Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, her heirs and successors, according to law. So help me God. Lady Thatcher may have enjoyed the special privilege of being the first of the new intake to take her seat, but her pleasure was short-lived. Almost the first word she heard once business began was a rejection from Foreign Office Minister Lady Chalker of the cause she has championed, a referendum on the Maastricht Treaty. It fell to a fellow spirit on the Labour benches to say that disappointment at that wouldn't be felt only by the public. But also amongst many people in the Conservative Party, many of them who are very, very senior indeed. But other senior Conservatives have been trying to marginalise Lady Thatcher before she makes good her promise to rebel over the Maastricht Treaty. Now was not the time, said the Foreign Secretary, to turn timid or sour on Europe. It is not sensible to back off into some noisy and destructive isolation by seeking to destroy the Treaty of Maastricht. And in the Commons, John Major reminded MPs that Lady Thatcher had signed the Single European Act, which gave more powers to the community, a tendency which he said the Maastricht Treaty was starting to reverse. With John Major taking over the presidency of the community in the morning, ministers are ramming home the point that they and not Lady Thatcher now determine Britain's line in Europe. Although the government's offer to accept a temporary minimum level of VAT throughout the community is just the latest issue to convince a small but vocal minority of Tories that they should follow their former leader in her rebellion.